now called to be the first bishop of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyansa, Kisi. Amen. Let us pray together, kneeling uh, in that prayer. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all number, two stanzas only. Choir. We expect all the members of the Electoral College to be here to present uh, the Bishop elect. We, the Electoral College. Met on the 24th of June 2023 at the Sistine St. Philip's Pro Cathedral KC, led by the Holy Spirit of God. So that the Bishop, as uh, I make, I say the words that follows Brothers and sisters in Christ, you have heard John Orina Omangi as the first Bishop of the Diocese of Kisi. Let it be known now. Again, I ask if there is anybody who has any cause, uh, just cause to say the person before us at this congregation should not be made a bishop. Let him or her declare now. Because there is silence, forever hold your peace. Amen. Now you can turn. We will ask the Electoral College to go and take their seats as we invite uh, the Provincial Chancellor to read the mandate. Uh, of your wish. And before I now direct the Provincial Chancellor to read the mandate of the election and appointment. This is the mandate of His Grace, the Archbishop, for the enthronement of the Right Reverend Captain John Orina Omangi to be the first Bishop of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza. Whereas the Right Reverend Dr. Simon Onyango, the Bishop of the Church and See of Southern Nyanza, and the Synod of that diocese, did signify to His Grace, the Archbishop of Kenya, the need for the creation of a new diocese to be known as the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza, and to be created out of the Diocese of Southern Nyanza, and after due approval by the Provincial Synod of the Anglican Church of Kenya, the Archbishop of Kenya determined that the request is reasonable and is satisfied that the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza is for the holder of the proposed office of bishop. And we are asked the search committee appointed for the purpose of vetting the candidates to stand for election for the seat of the vacant bishopric found that two candidates had been duly qualified to so vie and whereas an Episcopal election did take place on the 24th day of June, 2023, resulting in the election of the Right Reverend John Orina Omangi as the first Bishop of the Diocese and See of Upper Southern Nyanza. And whereas in conformity with Article, which pronouncement has been favorably made. And whereas the records of the Office of the Archbishop of Kenya do testify that the said John Orina Omangi was made a then Bishop of Diocese of Southern Nyanza and was ordained as a priest on the 6th day of November in the year of our Lord 2010 by James Kenneth Ochell, then Bishop of the Diocese of Southern Nyanza and was consecrated as a Suffragan Bishop of the Diocese of Southern Nyanza on 6th February 2016. Now, therefore, we, Jackson, 
by divine providence, Archbishop of Kenya, by virtue of the authority canonically accorded to us, do by these presents declare that we have duly confirmed such appointment, and do further declare that this our sentence of confirmation be our mandate for in the year of our Lord 2023, today being the 12th Sunday after Trinity, at 10 o'clock in the forenoon, in the state diocese or at such other time or place on such day as aforesaid, I shall be directed, designated, and prescribed by us for the enthronement of the said, the Right Reverend Captain John Orina Omangi, to the office of bishop in the house of God, according to the articles and canons of the constitution of this church, and in conformity with the ritual and rubric in the ordinal, they are being summoned to assist and take part in the enthronement, such secretion we are about to undertake this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much, Provincial Chancellor. For us to transit to the Ministry of the Word, we will all rise up and sing uh, that hymn 518 when upon life pillows we will be led by the choir Somo letu la kwanza lapatikana katika kitabu cha Yeremia 
Yeremia moja patikana katika kitabu cha Yeremia moja kuanzia moja hadi tisa tusome Yafuatayo ni maneno ya ya mwaka wa kumi na tatu wa utawala wa Yosia mwana wa Amoni mfalme wa Yuda lilimjia tena wakati wa Yehokumu mwana wa Yosia mfalme wa Yuda mnamo mwezi wa tano wa mwaka huo Watu wa Yerusalemu walipelekwa uhamishoni. Mwenyezi Mungu aliniambia neno lake kabla hujafikili hujachukuliwa mimba. Mimi nilikuja kabla hujazaliwa. Mimi nilikuweka wakfu nilikuteua uwe nabii kwa mataifa nami nikajibu a bwana mwenyezi Mungu mimi sijui kusema kwa kuwa bado ni ngali kijana lakini mwenyezi Mungu akaniambia usiseme kwamba wewe ni kijana bado utakwenda kwa watu wote nitakao kutuma kwao na, ye, na yote nitayo nitakayo kuamuru utayasema wewe usiogope watu hao kwa maana niko pamoja nawe kukulinda mimi Mwenyezi Mungu nimesema kisha Mwenyezi Mungu akaunyosha aka mkono wake akaguza kinywa chake akaniambia tasama nimeyatia maneno yangu kinywani mwako leo nimekupa mamlaka juu ya mataifa na mfalme uwe na mamlaka ya kungoa na kubomoa mamlaka ya kuharibu na kuangamiza mamlaka ya kujenga na ya kupanda neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lilinijia lilinjia Yeremia unaona nini nami nikasema ninaona tawi la mlazi unaochanua Mwenyezi Mungu akaniambia umeona vizuri maana niko niko macho kulitekeleza neno langu neno la Mwenyezi Mungu likanijia mara ya pili unaona nini nami nikasema ninaona chungu kina, kinatoka kazi wote wa nchi maana nasiita falme zote za kaskazini na makabila yote wafalme wake wote watakuja wa, wa, na kila mmoja wao ataweka kiti chake cha enzi mbele ya malango ya, Yer, ya Yerusalemu na ku, kando kando ya kuta zake zote na kusianguka na kusunguka miji yote ya Yuda nami nitawahukumu wa Israeli kwa ajili ya uofu wao wote na, kuyach, na kuniacha mimi waka fukuzia umbani miungu mingine na kuabudu sanamu walizo sitengeneza wenyewe basi sasa wewe Yeremia jiweke tayari haya nenda ukawambie mambo yote ninayo kuamuru usiaogope nisije nika nikakufanya muoga mbele yao leo hii nika ni kufanye kuwa imara kama maji ya leo sote watapigana nawe lakini hautashinda hautashindwa kwa sababu mimi niko pamoja nawe kuto 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 kuto
The person leading, reading the pistol, please come forward. Our pistol reading is taken from Paul's letter to Timothy, Paul's, letter, Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 3, beginning to read from verse 1 to 12. Paul's letter, Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 3, beginning to read from verse 1 to 12. Here is a trustworthy saying, whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task. Now the overseer is to be above reproach. Faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a love of money. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him. And he must do so in a manner worthy of full respect. If anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of, the, of God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. He must also have a good reputation with outsiders, so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. In the same way, deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, and not pursuing dishonest gain. They must keep hold of the clear conscience. They must first be tested, and then, if there is nothing against them, let them serve as a deacon, trustworthy in everything. A deacon must be faithful to his wife, and must manage his children and his household well. And that is the word of the Lord. Oh, yen dem bele injili ye baba. Oh, yen dem bele injili yo. Oh, yen dem bele.
beginning to read at verse number one. I am the true vine, and my father is gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the fine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. But from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are beat up thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in love, now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love just as I have obeyed my father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. No longer, no longer, I called you friends for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. I give you whatever you ask in my name. This is the gospel of Christ. Bariki, Baba Bariki, aye. Bariki, Baba Bariki, watoto awa. Bariki, Baba Bariki, aye. Bariki, Baba Bariki, watoto awa. Oh, Bariki, I Baba Bariki, aye. Bariki, I Baba Bariki, watoto awa. Bariki, E Baba Bariki, aye. Bariki. Oh, Bariki, Baba Bariki, aye, Bariki, Baba Bariki, Bato to akoye, Bariki, Baba Bariki, aye, Bariki, Bariki, Baba Bariki, Bato to akoye, Oh, Bariki, Baba Bariki. 
Yes, we will bless this our CS for education, Karibu Sana, and all those who have come with you. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we adore you, we worship you this day. Indeed, it is a day like no other when we are all gathered here to enthrone your servant as the first bishop of the Diocese of Upper South and Nyansa, Kafrin, Kisi, and Nyamira counties. We want to thank you, Lord, that we have all gathered to witness this celebration, but also to be blessed by you after reading the gospel of our Lord, the gospel of salvation, and now we want to bless these, our children, that Jesus, you will watch over them, you will see them nurtured, and grow them into your space, that they will be children for you. Bless their going out and their coming in, bless their parents and endow them with resources to give them opportunities in life, opportunities in education, For they'll be nurtured by caring and loving parents whom you have resourced. We also pray that, Lord, they'll be nurtured in your church, that your word will be ever present in their lives, that they will be able to look up to you for sustenance and growth. And when they grow up, they become the people this world is waiting for. Solution give us to problems affecting us. Lord, bless this our children. And now we speak blessings over them. The name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord bless each of these children. You know them by name. Give them opportunities in life. May your spirit rest upon each and of them.
Uh, brought anti climbers when they have not yet finished. I thought when they were down, <laughs> I thought they were finished. Thank you. Makofi Kwa your choir. Yes, we can see uh, there is a high notch singing in Kisiland. Simnona, eh, Asanteni Sana Choir, Mungo Bariki, our tender member. We thank God for each one of you. Uh, my Lord Bishop's present. Baba Skofu ambaye tunamweka siku ya leo ambaye ni host wetu na cabinet secretary of education sasa tunaingia kipindi kingine ambaye tunataka kusikia neno la Mungu. Uh, wakati ya Skofu anatayarishwa kuwekwa huwa tunampatia mwenye atatembea naye katika safari ya maombi siku chache kabla ya siku ya kama ya leo ambayo anatawazwa na kuwekwa kuwa Skofu na ndiyo mhubiri wetu siku ya leo uh, na si mwingine ni askofu wa diocese ya Makweni the right reverend francis mboya matui ndiyo amekuwa pamoja na ndugu wetu john mangi orina katika safari ya mombi wiki hii kabla hatuja mweka kwa askofu wa kwanza wa diocese ya upper south nyansa inashika kisi na nyamira counties kwa hivyo tutajitayarisha kusikia neno la Bwana kwa kuimba wimbo ilio katika ratiba yetu 536 the church is one foundation the church is one foundation tutasimama wote tuweze kuimba wimbo huu alafu tutapata mhubiri wetu wa siku ya leo akituletea neno lake Mungu Churches one foundation is Jesus Christ alone. She Mid toil and trip 
Pointed you as a prophet to the nations. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declare in the lives of your people in this area of the diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza. Help us to connect to this calling for each and more especially in your kingdom, that your word will extend and your kingdom will reach in and beyond our land. Holy Spirit, come and speak to us now. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before you, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Let's be seated. Your Grace, our Archbishop of Kenya, the Most Reverend Dr. Jackson Olesa Pitts, our brother bishops and also sister bishop, we have our CS of Education and the other government officials, the family of Bishop John Orina Omangi and Mama Beth, the clergy who are here and our provincial chancellor all christians of upper southern nyanza and the friends who have come to witness this great occasion like we say in kenya and all protocols observed i want to greet all of us this morning praise the lord Amen. hallelujah Amen. god is good all the time. and all the time wow yes we are gathered here today for a very important service of seeing and witnessing the growth of the church, the growth of God's kingdom in this part of the world. My name was mentioned, Bishop. I was with the clergy and I am also communicating to them since the time I came around and they have said I greet all of you. Your Grace, our Archbishop, for seeing it worthy that I come and be with the bishop, Bishop John. In this moment of retreat, we came on Wednesday, the face of the Lord. And uh, we have prayed together with the bishop, so that as he comes in as a thousand bishop, God will take charge of his life through him in order to reach his people with the gospel. It will be more or so like, not the continuation of what he was doing, even though it's just like that, but more so, a bigger responsibility of taking care of the souls of the people of God. We want to bring you 
our apology because I did not come with my wife. And normally when we are given this task to come and do retreat, you come with your spouse. But His Grace knows that I had several obligations. We are just coming from a Provincial Mothers Union Conference where we were in Kitri. We also had a Kayo Conference in Karoti Girls and uh, His Grace has given me the opportunity to be the Bishop Chair of the Youth Union Conference with 1,000 ladies gathering together. And so I had to open the conference in Makueni and leave my wife to continue. She was supposed to be in that wedding. But because we are given responsibility, then I had to come and then I left her behind. But your grace, we have agreed with Bishop Omangi and Mama Beth that did it in the right way. Tutafanya i kazi kabisa. Mana ni kazi ya bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So I want to tell the people of Upper Southern Nyanza, Musiokope, bwana yuko pamoja. Nanyi, meant for us as Christians of Upper Southern Nyanza, kisi, to understand what is happening now. Something is happening. And we need to connect with what is happening. To fulfill that constitutional mandate of pronouncing this area as it has been pronounced, and then we give you a full thousand bishop. In actual sense, when it was pronounced, John will take its oaths and the start of the work. What does that mean? What does that mean? This growth. It means that in, in Makuweni we are feeling the way you are feeling. Kwa tunasikia fra sana kwamba tumepewa dioces, tumekatwa kutoka Machakos, Machakos was giving birth to Makuweni. And uh, we were starting off this service with expectations. You have expectations. Is grace the archbishop as expectations together with the bishops? Kabisa na Zaidi. Wajili ya uduma ya bwana. Expectations. Expectations. And so I saw after some time some people were thinking, when Christ himself is expecting all of us to join hands and to continue preaching the word of the Lord to grow the kingdom of God in this area and bring many poor people to Christ. This leads me to introduce the theme of our reflection this morning. God's calling in our life or for our life. Understanding God's calling in our life or for our life. Kufahamu viema wito wa mungu kwa maisha yetu. And I want to particularize and say kwa maisha yako. Mana leo tuko hapa katika ibada hii. Kuna matarajio. Mengini upewa dioses na wanaesa kuanza faragani. Maombi yetu kwamba kusiende hiyo njia. Katika jina, to operate and grow the church. But he cannot do it alone. It will be teamwork. And so, kufahamu vye mawito wa mungu kwa maisha yetu ama kwa maisha ya koniki ya mwenyezi mungu. I'm thinking in my mind, we should make all of us understand that each one of us is called by God to serve him in the capacity in which you are giving yourself to help all of us join up with the new bishop to grow God's kingdom in the new diocese and so we shall reflect on this theme using our reading from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 through to verse 19 I'll not speak about every verse but summarizing what the message we have from there and our key verse is verse 5 and verse 8. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations, the Lord. These verses are very key in this service today. And when we read them, I'm sure you are thinking about, I called you and I set you apart. But also the verses are talking about us. John leading us, but also all of us. And so I look at what was happening at the time Jeremiah was told these words. 
This is about the call of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is an Old Testament prophet. And this prophet was called by God, appointed to speak or to prophesy in Judah. Judah is the southern part of the kingdom of the Israelites. You remember that as a prophet was to urge God's people to turn from their sins and come back to God. That is obedience to God. That was a shallow repentance. They never went into full repentance and come back to the Lord. Toto Wamung, the children of the covenant. Covenant. That word covenant is very key. Were Toto a life of disobedience to the Lord. Yes. Judah continued to be sinful. And so the unconfessed sin brought God's full punishment. Jeremiah came prophesying. Awako musikia. They continued their sinful nature. And so verse 1 to 3 explains the time and the life and the moments Jeremiah was preaching. I know when we read these names uh, and these, these uh, uh, verses, some of us may not understand when you say people like Elikia and all that. The word says, Elikia, one of the priests at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to him in the 13th year of the Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. And through the reign of Joachim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, down to the fifth month of the 11th year. The people of Jerusalem went into exile. This is just explaining the time Jeremiah was preaching. Wafalume ambao walikuwa wanaongoza inchi. The name of the president of this country is Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And he started serving earlier on. If you write that story to just look like this one, explaining the times, because that's how they counted the moments and the years at the time when the prophets were prophesying. And that explanation speaks a lot to us. Jeremiah, number one, is coming from a priestly family. Ni mutoto ambaye ni waukwani. Na kwa hivyo, mungu anaita watu, ata watoto waukwani, na utaona wengine walikuwa wafanyi kazi katika shamba like Amos and all that. Coming from the priestly family. And they lived in a small village called Anathoth, a small village around Jerusalem. And so with that in mind, we understand who Jeremiah was. And the lesson we are learning from this is, and he confess sin brings God's full punishment. When we don't confess our sins, there is punishment. And so we are installing a leader among us ourselves and a spiritual leader to help us to connect to God more. And I want to believe that we shall receive the message which the leader will bring to us. Utumishi wa mungu atakuwa kitembea katikati yetu wa kiubiri. Naweka systems za kuubiri. Kutuma wachungaji. Na kutafuta wachungaji. Kutafuta wachungaji. Kutafuta wachungaji. Kutafuta wachungaji. Nikisema hivyo wale likuwa na nyi mothers union mnaelewa vile nasema. When I repeat that I'm saying something. <laughs> because watu wanasema bishop tutumia mchungaji. Hata nikuwa makuweni bishop tutumia mchungaji. Haya toa uyu atutaki yu tunaka mwingine. And so they think I have kept a lot of them in the office. Nikamu wako kwa shelves na chukua moja. Chukua. Haya chukua. Eh, kutafuta wachungaji na kualea kazi isiyo rais kulisha watu neno la bwana which we understand the burden we are going to give our brother today naomba tusimame na yeye katika huduma hiyo bwana yesu asifiwe naomba tusimame na yeye katika huduma hiyo kupata mchungaji mmoja kumpeleka chuo cha biblia asome Either apate diploma, aende tena apate degree. Na kila mtu anasema ni patie the best. Bishop tutataka wa degree. Hii kanisha vile naenda, tutataka wa degree. Lakini ya wako lipa fish. Kima anasema leta wa degree. Na utoe ya raka. Tunamba utoe ya raka. By the way, as of a state, <laughs> we hear these things. Oh. <laughs> Wana atuone uruma. And so we go round, we go round praying. 
Maskofu anapiga magoto kimbia bwana nipatie wachungaji. And most of the time we ask but we never come to find out askofu utafanya nini upate wachungaji. Pate wachungaji. Hata mimi ni sasa naanza kukumbuka makueni wale wanangoja ni watumi. Kuna wengine tu. I'm doing retirement. Many, mimi nimeingia wakati bishop Kanuku alikuwa ale iodain so many so da mimi uh, this year nimefanya retirement ya waine and next month nafanya ingine 30th and they are most senior very qualified with the experience constitution yetu ya tukubalia unaongeza miaka mbili nikaongeza miaka mbili wakati covid ilikuja kini sasa wakasema tupatie wachungaji bishop tupatie wachungaji john utaambiwa hivyo john john orina omangi tupatie wachungaji Wana Yesu asifiwe. I hope we stand with him in this mission. Are we together? Tusimame na askofu. Bancheti ya dauses. Nikisema kuna responsibility. Bancheti ya dauses. Itakuwa mikononi mwetu. Sio kule southern nyanza. Sio kuenda Oma Bay. Abana. Itakuwa yetu. Sasa. Na ni yetu sisi zote. Mana tukiubiri unaubiria eneo lot. As I preach here, I'm preaching to Anglicans. And non-Anglicans. They are also benefiting. So we are called all of us to mobilize resources and do the work of mission. The work of mission. That is what Jeremiah came to preach. But the people could not understand the message. Sin was following them because of the unconfessings of Judah, who some of them are made Judah and the whole of Israel to repentance and have people reforming their lives. But life was chaotic. We are told in the life application study Bible. Life was chaotic politically, morally, and spiritual. People could not understand what God and the rich were getting more richer. And you see others were going to the temple and they were sacrificing. You see in Isaiah also who came at some times. He says, your hands are full of blood because so that was the situation internationally babylon and egypt and assyria were coming together and they were fighting for supremacy of controlling the world that was what was happening internationally but judah found itself caught up in the middle of this so you can imagine Wakati wengine wanapambana kuinua inji zao. Na ayo juda kule chini inaanza kupigana na kuanza kutokumuti mungu. Na wanapaswa kumuti mungu diposa apate kuapigania kuinua maisha ya watu wao. That was the situation. Hence, Jeremiah prophesied for 40 years. And he never saw his people heed his words and turn from their sins. 40 years. Years, forty years. Mumekuwa na John kwa miaka saba, sindiyo? Omangi miaka saba. Sasa muda yenda miaka ingine, miaka ingine. Bele, na lingi ya kwa yang, ali ya ali barikiwa kwa yang. In fact, mi ni lemukuta in the house of bishops, akiwa South African bishop, askofu wa eneo. Nile in 2016. I came in 2016 September. Nika mukuta akombele. Na nita retire ni muachi. Kwa hivyo ni kusema musipo musapoti. Woy, woy, woy. If you don't support this man of God. Will we see this joy we have today? Moving all along in the years. Baka siku ya retirement. How many will want Upper South and Nyanza? Yende na hii momentum Mwisho mbaka kwa retirement Epu onyesha askofu muku Sasa mutaibuwa mikono nyinyo yote Na nimeona wale awataki Askofu muku wameona Aligia kiwa ya And he has the chance of preaching Organizing you And this church to grow and go far Hallelujah we know the momentum in him.
Tunamujua huyu mtu wa Mungu. We have seen him. Wakati wa retreat mimi nilimfanya vile nilifanyiwa na Bishop Maluda who retreated me. He's now emeritus, retired. Alisema baada ya kila kitu after prayer, staying with my wife and Mama Angatha, we stayed on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Na Saturday akasema ninaenda mahali umezaliwa. I want to see your parents where you are born. Nataka nione wanaishi namna gani. Alafu niende kama you have anything, anything, any property. Mbao naingia kama mchungaji. Any property, anything you own, unionyeshe. And so I took Mr. Bishop Maluda to every place and everything I had where I was trying to migrate. Pale Konza City, I had bought some place. Kaenda huko akaona kanyumba kadogo. Taangalia na akasema umeitwa ukiwa hivi sasa. Nikikuombea naelewa. And then we took Holy Communion there. Na jana juu sisi tumeenda mpaka kule juu tombe. Kule juu milimani tulienda na bishop tukaona wazazi nikaona Omanje huyo hebu sipama huyu mzee. This is now the real Omanje. This... Na mama ako wapi? Mama ako wapi? Mama sipama kidogo. Mama ndio huyu ama hawezi kusimama niliona akienda na mko kupigwa picha ni siku yenu ya kupigwa picha jamani <laughs> kaona kwao kaona mahali pale na nikajua mama ni muombezi these ladies very prayerful huyu ni mwana hiyo familia your grace sio time yangu ya kuintroduce lakini i'm preaching <laughs> nikaona kwao and uh, bishop john has written a book called Surprised by God. I wish you read that book. Surprised by God. The book is there. I have a copy. I where he is coming from. I was preaching the Mother's Union Conference to Sema. Nowadays we use the good words to say humble background. Lakini the truth of the matter is you are coming from a poor background. So you can say ambo. Iyo ni maneno yon siku hizi muna zema ambo. Sa watu zema ambo ndi uone kani ukwalitu. Lakini enda uone. Poor background. Uone vali nduku alikuwa na tembea migu. Hili. Nilienda kanyose kanebe likuwa na pita kule. Every day. Kisoma kwa kitabu jyo taona how many times he missed lunch. How many times and the life he lived. Baga. His home. Kaenda kukaa kwa kanisa la PAG. Hapo karibu. Hapo tobe. Na kutoka standard 4 ameisi kanisani uyu ndugu. Sasa uyu ni ndugu ya kanisa. Uyu ni mutoto wa kanisani. Baba aliniambia na mama akaniambia. Mtoto wa kanisani. Mpaka ndugu yake alipokuja hapa town. Akaja hapa town, alafu akajifunza kucheza keyboard. And then he went to this church St. Philip's SK hapa. Kuachezea keyboard. Alienda akaona vyombo zikiwa hapo. The way you come in and you see the keyboard has no board. So he went there. Hata hakuwa na ruhusa ya kushika shika lakini unajua watu wa muziki kuna mie I play guitar. Ukifika na unaona ina mutu unapitanga unaraa kushika tu. So wakaenda kushika. Shika kwa ah, why don't you stay here? And then Bishop Kileti was there as the vicar. And then they abreast him. And after some time, he gets to know about Church Yami. It's another story. Read the book and see. Church Yami, Karalal, Nairobi. And so he decides to go to Church Yami himself. Not following the order of being recommended by the bishop. I think this should be told by Bishop Ochel. So akaenda, akasema nataka kuja kusoma and yesterday you were saying, have you told the principal who admitted you after a year? Then he came back, he was told, go back to your bishop and it's another story. Anaenda, kutafuta masomu. And today, we are enthroning him as a bishop. As a bishop. He has dedicated his book to the youth, apart from his wife and children, he has dedicated to the youth of this country. Kayo, Kenya, Anglican Youth Organization. And your grace, you have given me to be the chair of the youth. 
And so we have somebody who shall be inviting to share that testimony of how you can push on in life, not allow the... Jeremiah went for 40 years. I know he's not going for 40 years. But kindly we request you to support the servant of God. You know, we never know. Lakini musipike kelele nyinyi. We, we, you know we never know these things but he will preach among to be very unfortunate kifika mahali where watu wapoke injili na wanaanza msozana what meant Jeremiah strong was that he knew God is the righteous creator he is accountable to no one but himself he wisely and lovingly directs all creation to fulfill his plans and he brings events to pass according to his timetable. Meaning God is, is all powerful. God is all knowing. God is in charge of everything. He is Lord of all the world. Our duty is to submit to his authority by following his own plans, not our own. And to serve with our whole heart. Serving God. That was the context and that was Jeremiah at the time he was preaching. And so we see now the message in at this time. But God wanted him to know that his call went back even further than his youth. Jeremiah existed in the mind and plan of God. The, the, the challenges he went through. That was what was coming in my mind. That God knew about us. He knows about you before you were. Before you were. Wana anatujua Tenda kukaa kanisani. Kukaa kanisani. I'm not saying ukienda kukaa kanisani utakuwa askofu. <laughs> she said me <hivo. laughs> But you see God prepares his people in his own way. Isn't it? Yes. Kukaa kanisani. Siji, wachungali wale walikuwa kule hawako choshwa na mtoto anakaa kanisani. So we should thank them. I think they should be thanking them. Are telling them thank you for growing this year by his own will that is align his will with God's revealed will align his will it helps us to understand more about uh, what we are sharing this particular morning the book of Acts chapter 9 is about the source conversion for he is praying in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Verse 13. Lord Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your holy people in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the chief priests to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, verse 15, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. Then if I 16, which is coming when I read this, sometimes I feel tears. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. So before, before, before Saul is baptized to have the name Paul, God says, I will show him. Tamonyesha atakayopitia. That's your Yaraisi Mangum. Kwa Jilia Jina Lang. Now, very quickly, run through your mind what Paul went through. Ana ubiri na pikuwa na mawe. Ana ubiri na wekwa kukini kwa kukini kwa kikapu wa natamucho chini. Ana ubiri ukwa na pita the, 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 the shipwreck, barini, and all that. God says, I will show him. But remember, he came out very strong. Very strong. And he's one of the authors of the books of the New Testament. Many of them are written by this man who went through that. I'm trying to tell and encourage John as I encourage myself. Wakati mambo ni magumu, ujue kwamba bwana amekuchagulia maisha hayo, akakutumie, akatutumie, akakutumie wewe mshiriki, akakutumie wewe kila mmoja wetu anayesikia injili. Bwana anakupitisha akakutumie ili jina lake likapate kusifiwa. 
And so we need to stand firm. Hallelujah. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. This verse was read to me by Bishop Kanuku. When the diocese of Machakos by that time, I was pesa. Stayed nine months without pay. Unajua wakati mwingine unaona masiko wakiwa mbele wafikiri wako sawa. Lakini ndani ya Yesu tuko sawa. And so he had appointed me the office. Akaanza kuona ni kama nina nimeanza kuslagel. Akaniita kana mbona ulikuja hapa ukiwa na nguvu ya kuhubiri? What's happening? So he took me to an hotel called Lokenya. And he what you want but remember the house has no money. So <laughs> You know, and I communicate with Nigeria. Ne kama ana ni pembele zaki na najua malia tani shikia kapisa. Ana ni peleka pole pole. You know the way you take the cow and put it tani shikia kapisa. Ana ni peleka pole pole. You know the way you take the cow and put the yoke. Told me you will spend today alone, and me I spend in my room alone. You will do what you want. If you want to sleep, if you want to go to the restaurant, I have told you the situation. But so we spent that day. It's the only moment I prayed with the Bishop of Prayer and Fasting. And let me tell you, it impacted me. That was the time I changed my mind. And he tells me, let us write. But let us do Bible study first. Then he reads this. So you know what, Matui? Bwana anajua unayo pitia. Bwana anaelewa kila kitu. Then he read for me this verse. So I can listen. Did this Paul run away from ministry? No. So what are we supposed to do at this time? We are supposed to continue preaching, teaching, finding the message to transform their lives, change their world view, support the church, and we be transformed. Two things the way they are supposed to be done so that people can love the church. And I cannot do that alone. I need somebody like you. I will show him how much he must suffer. And that is my chosen vessel. I like now the upper part. That is my chosen vessel. My chosen vessel. You have been chosen by God. Mungu akasema 2023 mutakuwa na daos. Ali plan. And so cooperate with the God to get the blessings of God. Na kizungu mkuti hiko katika kutafuta. What is the will? Wakati mgini it is not straight forward. You need to be prayerful. You need to call the bishop. As God says, sir. Tumemalisa phase one. Ya kugrow a bishopric area to be a full thousand. Na tukakabidhiwa. Apa sautha ninyanza wakakubali. Askofu mkuu na sino na irobi wakakubali. Maaskofu wakuapa. And we were... This is one of the enthronements which has been attended by many bishops. Many bishops. Hata muziki kitu ni kisema hivyo. Hata muziki kitu njini. One of the... And tulikuwa na uloweza pale kwa laini. Kwa nini? Tukasema na unajua nae John ni mpole. John Orina ni mpole. Ni mpole tu. Nimemuita makueni. Marakatha akakuja kuhubiri kwa wanarika wangu Nikamuita kwa synod He took my clergy through a retreat Siku njua kwa metakuja huku That was just in the relation Nilimuambia kuja ndugu wakakuja Tukikula hii anakula Waza anakulanga kadoko sana In fact Nakulanga Lakini asikue simbu mumu exploit Siapo ni sawa Yani tumukute ngari kwa kwa njia Na mwambia sasa we ni bishop He still has the same needs And what's happening the needs have increased Because alikuwa napigia bishop Simon kule Oma bey Sasa apigi simu Alamikuwa yetu ya kikamba Inasema kaula katune katune Pabuga neko nengele ya nidwe Ok now that is kikamba Kaula katune Unajua ile kibuyu tunakunyo uji nayo That Wanasema Tunengele ya nilie Tunengele ya nilie Peana peana Ivo Tusaidie mtoto Wanesu asifiwe Before I formed you I knew you I love that That is Your grace And they gave me Genesis chapter Chapter 1 We were looking at the creation And we are talking about Positioned with
so that they may tend the garden take care of the garden and then we are saying when you take care of the garden the garden takes care of you sometimes we preach in marriages and we say when you go our way kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nataka ukiwa na pesa kama una pesa mimi nimeenda changu and all that people don't want to sacrifice in the same way they come to church with that attitude move away kama pastor ana public address system kama asituambie atafuta and we see some pastors taking loans they are only pastor loans to equip the church because the christians want to find a good church a good church and now what is this what is this we need to take care of the church take care of the dowses take care of it ujitoe kwa ajili ya kazi ya bwana and taking care means you stand with it even at the moment you are not happy maana kuna watu wanakuja kanisani wakati wana fry wakati hakuna fry wanaenda watavutwa na mchungaji napigiwa na John simu inasema nambari ya inasema nini kwa safaricom mteja wa nambari unaopiga patikani kwa sasa tuwe watu wa kupatikana haleluya yes but i am in a current when god says before i formed you in your mother's womb i i knew you you are born or even you are conceived in your mother's womb bwana alikujua this is not for john only but for all of us all of us here bwana kabla hujapata kuumba katika tumbo la mama yako alikujua it was not by by accident or by coincidence no god is in charge of the universe and i allow kila kitu he thought about you and planned for you when you feel discouraged or inadequate remember that god has thoughts about you as a valuable and as a purpose in mind for you so mtu akikwambia wewe sio wa maana nasema mungu anajua mimi ni wa maana wewe sio wa maana hapana hata ukiniambia Mungu anajua mimi ni wa maana you encourage yourself pana sema mimi ni wa maana na Bwana atajua nitafanya efforts zile ambazo naweza kufanya and the Lord is going to bless the work of uelewa kabisa na watu wa tobe wanajua hii maneno ninahubiri hapa in fact they are connect au wanaunganika kabisa na hii message wanaelewa where he has come number two. God has a purpose for each Christian or every one of us. Usifikiri kuna watu ambao wamepewa mazuri na wengine mabaya. Hapana. Nilisoma kwamba tulisema kwamba Israel ama Judah was punished because of their unconfessed sin. Mashida ambayo tunapitia ni kwa sababu ya unconfessed sins. Hatujatengeneza uhusiano wetu na Mungu. And God is a righteous God. Righteous means he is a straight God. Akisema atabariki atabariki. Lakini pia akisema atahukumu anahukumu because ukitenda dhambi haijalishi wewe ni waina gani. Now I preach like an evangelist because I know I am an evangelist in me. Hakuna mtu for all of us. Na mtu ambaye ni mwachini kabisa hata akifanya dhambi na mwanagani all of us equal measure because God is a righteous, 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 righteous. Put our keyboard. So the keyboard person should now think about this next step. Nani anataka kubarikiwa? People are running all over. Wanakimbia kila mahali, wanatendewa mambo mengine, mpaka shakaola. Shakaola. Simu nizikia shakaola. We are giving you an anti shakaola message ginyi. And the work work fanya kazi fanya nini Yes Kitaka nyumba zuri fanya kazi Naambia wafika mbinguni ukute kwamba kuna hombi ambalo uliomba na Bwana akujibu Yaani utafika ukute kuna maombi ambao uliomba na God says ask Yes This is what I believe and me I've done it practical Piga magoti wakati mwingine anambia bwana unaelewa na jambo hili katika dawses i commit it to you haleluya who is with me haleluya haleluya that is it that is it god ile 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 pesa yote nimetumia kanisani that was before I, when i was a deacon when deacon wanajua kiangelekana mwanzo tumeweka kola tu sasa ni machakos nikaandika ile vitu yote nadai kanisa 
Kande. Sasa sipana ulisema utanipea and you are not giving me. Kande ka this month wameleta ya fair wanaandika hapo. Uh, wageni walikuja kwa nyumba kwa nacha kulo naandika hapo. Sasa inamanze utatupeleka kotini. Nikasema habana, hii ni mandeni ambao mimi nimefanyia mungu kasi hili baka kanyamaza. But he continue praying for me. Let me tell you what happened after three years. Somebody called me. And when the motorbikes were very expensive, when there was no tax removed for them, by that time, you know, you had the Kibaki regime, which what did it? It brought motorbikes all over. Somebody called me, come and pick this motorbike. I saw you preaching in an open air crusade. Can I followed you and I want to stand with your ministry? I can a motorbike here, 450,000 Kenya shillings. Almost half a million. 450,000. I love a can 15,000. That was in 1998. I can 15,000 in a fine driving. Now I can your motorbike. And I went to, to my pay slip. Nika Juliza. Ata kama nika lipo ile pesa yote na kanisa. Nika lunua hii motorbike. Nika kuta habana. I went. I took that motorbike to the church. Nika ingiza ndani ya kanisa pale nyuma. Na nika ambia ile PCC. Cancel. Njuma apili tuombe hii motorbike. I remember one lady muse. Akiomba. Akisema bwana tunakushukuru. Tumeona mkono wako. Sasa mjungaji atatembea. Umeleta motorbike. Sasa utalete ndege, utalete ndege. <laughs> I remember her praying kusema ndege itakuja. <laughs> Watu walicheka vile mmecheka nikauliza ndege hapa Mwala Zendipozi uko Athi River Athi kuna airport kweli? <laughs> Hakuna. But can I tell you? Bishop Omang na timu yake walinipea ndege nikalandi kesumu wakanichukua nikaja hapa na kesho narudi kwa ndege kesho mimi nitalala huku na nilikuwa Uganda kwa ndege nikitumwa na his grace si ndege ililetwe sometimes it is us who don't take god by his word take god by his word I pray sometimes nikiambia Mungu tia imani yangu nguvu ninue kesi ukaolewe wacha mimi nifuate hii wito maana amanda off na sasa nimekuri I wish he was here I normally speak she knows nilimwambia mi sitaki sasa kuonekana nafuata wasichana nimeamua kukaa ndani ya Bwana na sasa kukaa hapa ngale huyu mchungaji amekuwa namna gani she went home and stayed for two years when God brought the motorbike nikampigia simu na wanataka kukua simu nikamwandikia but I want us to meet God has spoken so I remember tukichoma hicho kitabu maana nikichoma nikisema bwana mimi ni mujinga mimi ni mujinga nikashika hapa wakamba wanasema ni katikati ndio kuna ujinga ondoa grow me spiritually grow me to understand how you work and how you operate within the universe the cosmos the cosmos we bwana ni mkubwa pigia yesu makofi jameni we are given our houses which when we serve we shall be blessed by the almighty God. We are given our houses when we stand with these houses Bwana atashusha neema yake, atafungua baraka kwenu, atawainua lakini ukianza complain na kuingiza kanisa kwa shida, the Lord is righteous. He is also ready to deal with those who work like that. Awe ni askofu, awe ni kasisi, awe ni mtu akukimbia kimbia hapa msewa kanisa. God no English. When I allow you neno Russians, what did it mean? Yeah, he does not compromise. No. Only when you come to him and repent, then the Lord comes to you. Na analete neema. Tukitaka baraka, sikiza. Alie wekwa mafuta, sikia anasema nini. Anasisi pia, unajua zikofu muku pamoja na chanza la muku wapa in the earth. Kuna mahali unasema discipline with mercy with, with, with mercy discipline I thought about that after the after I took my oath you discipline <laughs> That's where you see bishops unasema baba askofu una kitu inaenda mbaya na anachukua time and Iraq he's praying na mbona fikiri he's not doing anything because he wants to do to make sure he does the right thing Discipline with the mercy. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Wana atupe ngufu. Wana asifiwe. 
Let us hearken to the voice of the Lord. Let us understand we are called to serve. And each one of us, at a Sunday school teacher, ameitwa. If you think you are not called, just listen to this. Whatever work you do, you should do it for the glory of God. If you think God has not given you a specific call or an assignment, then you seek to fulfill the mission which God has given all believers in the church. To love, that's number one, to obey, to serve God until his guidance becomes more clear in your life. So be found by God doing the right thing. Daudi aliitwa alienda you know he is the one who killed God here. And he was within the service. Kule anajangwani anachunga wale kondo. Then he finds Goliath standing with his all oh, the pride. He said, Israel, choose one of you to come and fight with me. You say you are worshipping a God. Where is this God? How can our God be ridiculed like this? I better be dead. Na kaenda kajitoa. So he was gotten within the process. Akimutumikia mungu. Hallelujah. Fanya kasi ya buwana. Buwana ata kuinulia mahali. Kuna njia. Niwewe tu uoni. God is calling all of us to serve him. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord you give you the strength to understand this. Instead of to serving the Lord, let us stand up for prayer. Tunye nyake mbele ya buwana. Mwenyezi Mungu tuasema asante kwa neno lako kuu. Kabla atujaumbwa katika tumbo ya mama zetu. Hakuna mtu ambaye humjui. Tusamehe kwa sababu tumejificha. Lakini there is no way we can go. Lord restore us. Have mercy upon us. And in this enthronement service we pray all of us, Bariki John, na Mama Beth, Watoto Wao, na Zizote. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. I know not why God's wondrous grace to me had been. I have believed and am persuaded. Thank you, choir. We thank God for Bishop Matui that he allowed him to use may that word, the word of life, rest in us to give us life. Now to respond to that word, we will all stand with Christians throughout the centuries. Let us declare who we believe in. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus. He is given the right hand of the Father. I come again in the name of the day. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Lord. And the choir will continue to be singing as uh, we offer our offertory to God. And remember, we are inaugurating a new diocese. Give generously so that we may support Kayamba Africa will be just a minute. Kayamba Africa will be giving us the aims they have. Meanwhile, give your offertory to the nearest box. And After this, so let us give our offertory. Envelopes and other gifts will come. <laughs> Na wafata njia ya kweli Wana Yesu alitamka Mimi tipi njia ya kweli 
mtu haji kwa baba yangu ila kwa njia yangu mimi Yesu alitamka mimi ndimi mimi ndimi njia ya kweli mtu haji kwa baba yangu ila kwa njia yangu mimi hebu fuata njia ya kweli na we waelekea wapi na wafuata njia ya kweli Kamia ni rahisi sana Kwingi ya tundu na simenji Jia gani kulikuwa tayo Na wewa eneke ya wapi Na wafata njia ya kweni Na wewa eneke Jia gani kulikuwa tayo Na wewa eneke ya wapi Na wafata njia ya kweni Na wewa eneke ya wapi Mimi hafa na omega Tuhaji kwa baba yangu Hila kwa jia ya mimi Ya mimi mimi Hebu jiulize Jia gani hui kwa tayo Hebu jiulize Jia gani hui kwa tayo Na wewa ene Yes, 
opportunities Lord you have commanded us to honor you with our wealth it's already yours bless this cheerful give us bless their tithes and offerings that they have given for your work we will now ask the provincial chancellor and the bishop elect to go down to the podium for the taking of oath of offer is led by the chancellor and also the bishop preacher who have been his retreat. Can somebody give the chancellor another mic so that uh, to his grace the archbishop of God church of God in the office of the first bishop of the church and the discopacy of Nyansa, the Anglican Church of Kenya do hereby solemnly and sincerely declare profess promise and attack the Almighty God and the Firstly, that I shall pay all due and true canonical obedience and reference to His Grace the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya and the Metro Metropolitan Church in Kenya and to their respective lawful successors in all things lawful and honest. Secondly, and Apostolic Church as uniquely revealed in the Holy Scriptures and set forth in the Catholic creeds, and accordingly I hereby declare bear witness to which intent I assent to the 39 articles of religion and the book of common prayer and of the ordering of bishops, priests, and deacons, and believe the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ and the doctrine and discipline by him delivered the church as acknowledged and set forth by the Anglican Church of Kenya in the constitution of the said church to be agreeable to the word of God and in public prayer and the administration of the sacraments, I shall teach and maintain such faith and use only the form of service in the said book prescribed and none other except so far as shall be allowed and ordered by lawful canonical authority. Thirdly, that I consent to be bound by and shall faithfully maintain, defend, keep, observe, serve, govern, and exercise my episcopal jurisdiction and authority therein as bishop and as by law in me fested and conferred in the said diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza with truth, justice, and charity, not lording them over God's heritage, but through and in accordance with all and several and several the faith, rights, dignities, powers, customs, duties, regulations, standing orders, by law and acts of the synod of the said church and the metropolitan church in Kenya, and by the rules 
which are all, all by respectful lawful successors. Fourthly, that I shall faithfully serve the Anglican Church of Kenya Synod of the said church, all by the standing committee thereof, respectively, all by other and other lawful authority, all by their respective laws, any or or of the respective rights, powers, liberties, dignities, privileges, and emoluments whatsoever and howsoever appertaining to the ad ad by any tribunal acknowledged by the said synod and all by its lawful successors for the trial of a bishop saving the second oath that the bishop elect is required to make is an oath as to the observance of the of laws divine permission and by the grace of God presently called chosen and appointed to serve as the church to serve the church of God in the office of the before the almighty God and the persons here assembled firstly that I consent to be bound by and shall faithfully respect ordinary thereof and as by law in me fasted and conferred in the diocese of Upper South and Nyanza with truth, justice, and charity not loading over to and in accordance and conformity with all and several the faith, rights, dig dignities, powers, customs, usages, privileges, liberties, constitution, fundamental declarations, laws, law, laws, canons, articles of sea of Upper South and Nyanza of the Anglican Church of Kenya do hereby solemnly and sincerely declare, profess, promise, undertake, acknowledge, and subscribe before the Almighty God and the persons here assembled, that I shall resign my office of diocesan bishop of the Episcopal See of Upper Southern Nyanza and relinquish my Episcopal jurisdiction and authority. Pass one to and in accordance with the respective laws, articles, and canons of the Anglican Church and the said Dowsi. Now we have uh, Vision 2046. <laughs> As the preacher said, now you can collate 2016. Uh, 20, yeah, 2016 and 2046. Uh, he will serve this region uh, as and prayers. And uh, I will ask the bishops appointed to lead the litany to go and line up there as I introduce the prayers for the litany. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it is written in the Gospel according to St. Luke that the Lord Jesus watched and prayed for laying hands on Paul and Barnabas and later sending them out. So also ourselves, as we follow the example enthroning the right Reverend John Orino Mangi to do the work the Holy Spirit has called him to do as the first bishop of Upper Southern Nyansa Diocese in Shorten, Shorten. We pray. God, God, the Holy Spirit, the comforter of humanity. Have mercy on us. Holy, blessed, and good. All forms of corruption and wildness from all fear of persecution and the dreadful 
sinful affections, and from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. From the drought and floods, from earthquakes and other dis and kidnappers, from kayakers and reckless drivers, from slanderers, rumor mongers. To the source of truth, govern and encourage her to speak the truth in love, both in season and out of season. Yes. Enlighten your ministers with knowledge and understanding, that by their teaching and their lives, they may proclaim your word. Yes. That by the dwelling of the Holy Spirit, they may be encouraged to preserve to the end. Yes. For their homes and families, that they may be adorned with all Christian virtues. Yes. Give your people grace. Hear us as we remember the bishops and all men in Christ that we may walk in their footsteps and be fully united with them in your everlasting kingdom. Yes, Lord. For you are holy, the wisdom to solve the problems of his flock. Yes, Lord. For the nations of the world that they may peacefully acquire and the suffering for the prisoners and the detained, refugees are no in danger that they may be relieved and protected. <laughs> for the terminal hill, those who are living with dread of scourges, especially HIV and cancer, that they may be comforted in their sufferings. May they place their hope of healing in you and therefore find peace that passes all understanding. For doctors and scientists in the medical research who spend many hours in various laboratories of the world in search of cures of diseases. For the little children and babies and their right guarded. which is your will, binding her together and with your comforter and helper, the Holy Spirit. We beseech you all. Among clergy and all the church leaders, that they may courageously proclaim the good news of the kingdom and fearlessly challenge injustice of your whole name. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred through by every wind of doctrine. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen that those will be, that there will be peace within our borders, that all the people in this region may live in harmony people of different political affiliation for greater respect for one another one another's opinion and conviction for greater things for greater thirsty after truth and justice for all protect us from political thuggery and assassination that we may enjoy fullness of life as God intends for us. Yes. Guide and bless those who are the law, that honesty and truth may be upheld, and that they may proclaim justice without fear or favor, but with the fear of God. Yes. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved, the oppressed, and the voiceless. Yes. Protect our Archbishop, the most reverend.
John Olesapit, our bishops, and all the church ministers from threats and intimidation of all. Heal the sick in body and the mind, provide for the widows, widowers, and the orphans, the homeless, the hungry, and destitute. Watch over the aged in their flattering steps, diminishing eyesight and the falling strength. Grant that they shall soar up with wings as eagles, run and not be weary, weak and faint, and as they continue putting their hopes in you. Grant opportunities to school leavers and graduates from institutions of learning that they may get employment and participate in wealth creation for the extension of your kingdom. Yes. Pour your blessings on all human labor that your people may enjoy good output, be well fed and live in economic comfort. Let the economy stabilize and may the prices of basic commodities come, to, to come down. Yes. Preserve and guard the integrity of creation against exploitation. That forests, lakes, game reserves, and the other natural and environmental resources may be safeguarded against misuse or abuse. Yes. Grant us favorable climate and sufficient rain that our hearts may be fed, the fields be fruitful, and the harvest bountiful. God, give us to repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence, ignorance, commission, and omission. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Hear us, O Lord. Almighty God, grant that we shall receive what we have earnestly asked for in faith, that in all the services we render to you and in your name we may find fulfillment and that your people may be well nourished in their souls to the glory and honor of your name. Amen. Amen. Now the family will take their seats. The choir will sing, and as the choir sing, now the archdeacons of this diocese, yeah, that's what I'm giving direction, the archdeacons, the rest of the family will take their seats, now the archdeacons of this diocese, the bishop elect, to the robbing room so that he may be he may come adorned with a cope and mitre so that we begin the service of entertainment. Uh, choir, please. We are the 
service of enthronement, we will ask the rest of us to sit uh, so that the archdeacons uh, don't be too much far from him, be on his sides. Now we This is the by the grace of God presently called, chosen, and appointed to serve the Church of God inter alia in the office of the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya, and by virtue authorized and empowered to our brother, well beloved in Christ, the right reverend in Father in God, John Orina Omangi, by constitution of the Church and Episcopal See of Southern Nyanza in the Affirmation Church. Greetings, grace, and peace. Whereas the constitutional procedure set for for your induction and enthronement to the office of the diocesan and bishop and to the episcopal jurisdiction and authority as the ordinary of the episcopal see of southern nyanza which said nomination election and appointment have been duly confirmed by us as lawful valid and canonically regular we do here and now induct and enthrone you in the episcopal chair assigned to the said bishopric and therein give unto you possession, authority, jurisdiction, and all the spiritual rights, liberties, dignities, and privileges whatsoever and howsoever are pertaining to that office. And the, may the Lord bless your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. May you abide in justice and sanctity and adorn the place delegated to you. And may the Almighty God increase in you his grace and as you go forth we address to you these words of saint paul to the church of thessalonians therefore brethren stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught now our lord jesus christ himself and god even our father which hath loved and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is the Archbishop's Enthronement Monday Certificate to the newly uh, elected Bishop of the Diocese. Now, before we proceed to enthrone him, elected as the first Bishop of the Diocese of Upper South and Nyanza, Kisi, do hereby promise that I will respect a truth, justice, and love, not loading it over God's heritage, but showing myself in all things as an example to the flock of Christ, giver of all good things, by your Holy Spirit, protect your servants, look with favor life, that he may serve you 
and believe with his words and actions to Christ's will who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Now we will ask the Archidibos to hold his both hands. I will say those words as he slowly, not quickly, sit him properly. We, the Archidicons of the God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Makofi Tabadali. Now there are instruments of uh, his leadership. Leadership to the newly enthroned Bishop of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyansa and somebody be ready with the Constitution and the Bible because those are his tools of training. To serve as a constant reminder of your call to be a shepherd to the flock that Christ put in your care and may the Lord bless you as his shepherd to the people of this great diocese who have been under my care. I now he has now received his staff of authority. Now we will give him the next items, uh, which are his tools of trade. Bishop Mangi take an oath to govern and lead this church using this constitution which gives you authority and guide you will have order and be orderly in our ministry now receive this constitution of the anglican church of kenya in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen 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 now the Archdeacons, the Chancellor and myself will take our seats. We will have other groups who will come symbolically to present to him the items he will be using in his line of ministry. So I'll ask the camera team to give way. They'll be walking from that line and they will come. And I need somebody to be holding this mic for them so that in obedience to our Lord's command.
to realize the full benefits of Christ's love for humankind. Bless our land so that it will produce enough for us and our families. Yes, you have seen the symbolic presentation of uh, the items that uh, our bishop is going to use. Uh, we will invite his wife to come in front. We appointed the president of the Mother's Union because she also assumed the role of the president of the Mother's Union. Now they have a diocese at the Mama, 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 Receive this flag as a sign and symbol of unity and leadership of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza Kisi. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we have uh, completely transferred the instruments of Southern Nyanza to the newly created Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza. What will happen to you? What will happen to you? Now, uh, as you sit down, I will now formally introduce your bishop to various formations. And when I come to you, please, you will stand when I ask every team to stand so that uh, uh, I may present your bishop to you. And uh, after that, Kubamba team are here. I will ask them to come forward after I have introduced him. I will give the church a moment of celebration. Are we together? Yes. Space to dance. The kissy dance, but not the parababa. Yes. <laughs> because you'll break your back. Now let me first walk my bishop to introduce him to the various groups of the congregation. And then it will begin with the clergy who are uh, now going to make their canonical obedience to him. Oh, the clergy of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza, I present to you your bishop and father in God. Do you accept him? Because I'm came uh, a little late. And I want them to say in unison, Yes, yes I, we want their voices. Yes. Now go in unison, want to hear whether you have accepted your bishop. Do you accept your bishop? We Now we are the lay leaders and evangelists. <laughs> All right, stand where, wherever you are. leaders and evangelists of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza Kisi, here is your bishop, the Christian faith, the Christian faith under uh, his care. We pledge to support and uphold him and to faithfully teach the Christian Upper Southern Nyanza Diocese, I want you to stand so that I may present to you your bishop. Diocese. I present to you your bishop and father in God. Do you accept him? Yes. We accept him gladly. And now come and lead us in a celebratory Waweke ili Saudi wanajua kuweka and the bishop will be welcomed by his brothers in the house of bishops and the presidents of uh, our various dioceses, Mother's Union present, the wife of our bishops.
visit uh, the high schools all around and we look forward to continue working together just to see thousands and thousands of the young people getting saved. So uh, right about now we are going to kusherekea. Si ndio? Aya kama umefurahi nataka uweke mkono mbili juu hivi kila mtu tafadhali. Weka tu alafu nipungie mkono kila mtu. Pamoja tu twende. Yesu umefanya ili umefanya lile umenipa jina Baba Baba nina Sema kushuze Sema ati hey umefanya ili umefanya lile umenipa jina Baba Baba nina kushuze Pole pole ni poti mkona right TV Weka hivi ju One, two, three Baba amese mandiyo Are you ready? Nani ya kata One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three Hey, sema nini? Ati Maibi, still tis go take some Anaku pole pole ataka wakote chini chini We are going to we were going to get the skit from uh, Kubamba um, and bear with us uh, we will understand you will understand so thank you so much for leading us in that I will ask everybody else to sit now we will have a moment of greeting our bishops later we now want to hear his voice kuendelea mbele apewe mic alafu tukae kimya tusikie atasemaje Thank you very much. Your Grace, the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya, Bishop of All Saints Cathedral Diocese, and Bishop in Ordinary to Kenya Defense Forces, the Lord Bishops, priests, deacons, both from the diocese and from other dioceses, the Lady the Commander in Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigati Gajagwa, the Governor for Kisi County, Honorable Paul Saint, and Christians of this great diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza, Nawantobonsi, Bagusi, Nawakwani, Nubiyamolemwensi, Nawasalimu Kwajina. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude for all our leaders 
and the House of Bishops to find time to come and grace this important occasion. Acknowledge my brother, the Reverend uh, Richard Morara, whom together we presented ourselves before God and Christians to be elected as the first bishop of this great diocese. I want to acknowledge him if he is in this congregation, uh, Morara, for giving yourself for this great uh, ministry. I also want to acknowledge my Ziwangu Ningependa Kuatambua, Familia Yanyumbani, Musimame Popote Mulipo, Ufungia Wa Christo Mikono. Hawa umetoka nyumbani sehemu ya tombe ambao tuko na kanisa janga thank you very much uh, also i want to acknowledge my other bishops in kisi town i belong to a uh, fellowship kisi ministers uh, clergy forum kindly stand and wave to the people uh, bishops all right thank you very much uh, allow me to continue because of the interest of time the history of the Anglican Church in Gusiland the Anglican Church of Kenya SEK began in 1844 when Dr. Rudin Kraft joined them together they established a station at Rabai near Mombasa from this humble beginning, by now the Anglican Church has over 35 dioceses and approximately 5.5 million members concentrated in urban and rural areas in Kenya. In Gusi region, the first Anglican service was done in 1938 in the house of Mr. Sedekia Oyando at Mwembetayari Estate in Kisi town this Oyando was working with the Ministry of Agriculture and hailed from Punyore near Maseno. The church was then known Church Missionary Society, CMS. Rather, prayers moved to Kisi School because the European principal was Anglican. The in charge of the prayers was Mrs. Mr. Sedekia Ogonji, Canon Ezekiel Apindi who used to feast the school for prayers, baptism, and celebrated the Holy Communion. These prayers continued even to the late 1980s when Canon Joel Nyaema was the principal of Kisi School at the time. And I want to acknowledge Canon Joel Nyaema to stand and wave at the Christian. Mzee Ako Pale, but he said he has to be here. Canon wave to the people. He was the principal for Kisi School. For your information, Kisi School was begun by the Anglican because it was a government school and the colonizer for Kenya was British. So I'm happy that the CS for Education is here. He's going to consider that matter for the Anglican Church. <laughs> Canon Ezekiel Apindi, as I've said, Charlie Nyahema was the principal of the school. And later, the prayers moved from Kisi School, and they moved to Kisi Court of Arts, joined hands and built the first CMS bookshop in Kisi Town. And behind that bookshop was a hall that served as a church. The Reverend Dr. Parrett, who doubled as an inspector of Anglican schools in Kisi and South, and, and South Nyanza, helped mobilize resources and constructed the St. Philip's Church uh, to begin schools and sponsor them. The CMS bookshop plot, which was sold, the St. Philip's Church plot number 127 in Kisi Township, St. Philip's Plot, Block 11, Stroke 146, where the current church is seated. CMS Graveyard, 
at Mashauri Junction, which I uh, don't know at the moment. SK Misambi in Nyamira County, where we have the secondary secondary. Nyakegara Kemo Primary School in Babasi, which later uh, became DEB. We have Rio Mego in Nyamira County, DEB. I'm saying this because uh, we need to think about this. The key informant is the Reverend Daniel Masira Old. He's alive, we could not make it here today. The Anglican Church in Gusi continues. For instance, the only Anglican Church in Gusi was St. Philip's, which fell under the Diocese of Maseno and was being administered from Kisu. Philip's only spoke English, a language that was not familiar with most of the residents. Even in my archives right now, one can find the minute the locals felt unwelcome and considered the charge to belong to the Europeans and a few elites. They didn't recognize especially with respect to elders who could influence the growth and ownership of the church. During the time of Bishop Bolan, we had St. Philip's and St. Barnabas Misambi Parish, which was created by Bishop Okulu as the only local congregation between 1993 and, as the only local congregation. Between 1993 and 2004, the late Reverend Agai Nyang added St. Stephen's Nyamira. Following the retirement of Bishop Agai Nyang, is of James Kenneth Ochiel took off and created Wucha Outreach in 2010 and ordained Reverend Captain John Orina Omangi. In 2010, the Dawson Synod of Southern Nyansa under the leadership of the right Reverend James Kenneth Ochiel attempted to explore more ways to unlock the potential for the growth of the Anglican Church in Gusi. It was on this basis that the Synod passed a resolution to make Kisi a re region a missionary diocese. However, the province, provincial Synod objected this resolution. In his wisdom, Bishop James Ochiel decided to create an area bishopric and appointed a suffragan bishop to be stationed on, 24, on 14 February 2016 I, John Omang, was consecrated as sovereign bishop with the task of assisting growing the church in the area. I proceed further from there. I wish to acknowledge the bishop emeritus, Bishop James Uchiel, who clapped for the bishop. You are grace in the interest of time. Let me just say a word, only to say that glory to God. Thank you, Bishop. By then, we had three parishes and a total of 1,000 Christians. We must celebrate for his firm leadership, even though he faced a lot of opposition for this initiative. We salute him for supporting me in terms of leadership and creating terms of how to start the work minus resources and how to relate with the Dawson Bishop and the wider Anglican Church. But by God's grace, we formed a fresh, growing, caring Anglican diocese, boldly proclaiming Christ by 2020. Mission was to equip God's people to transform the society community services, then five, partnership and networking. It is through the implementation of the above that we were able, earlier I said, people were speaking English. So when we came in, we translated the modern prayer book into Ekegusi. Raised the number of clergy from 3 to 15. Portland, Portland, the most of churches 
all parishes that we are talking about are on the land which we have bought to the tunes of millions who supported us in this journey. We still bank on you for the success and prosperity of, the new, of this new dialogue. Forward, as you look at the theme of this church, is to accelerate, accelerating mission and evangelism. That is in our church. We shall rally all our members and remind them that the mission and the church calls us to perpetually proclaim the gospel afresh. And out of experience, I now understand that a church planter will be someone who is called to lead in evangelistic mission, developing new leaders, starting new churches. All this will breathe new life into existing ones. This is what we've been trying to do in Gusi region for the last seven years. However, going ahead in Upper South and Nyanza Diocese, for us to be able to plant new churches and grow them, we shall require ministers who are entrepreneurs, dreamers, missioners, strategists, evangelists, fundraisers, team leaders, and even more. All these skills will be essential to enable us to penetrate into the thick walls of this region and of the modern world and to be able to accomplish the key goals of planting more churches in this region. Planting churches has been and will be my way of sharing in the apostolic mission by bringing more people to Christ's fold and participation to the church's life. We want to see a revived church with members filled with the Holy Spirit who will carry the gospel to the world and this is a goal that we shall strive to achieve. Furthermore, we do not want to plant churches which are blind to the needs of the society and which does not address the questions that the people are asking, particularly in Wusi region. Churches will be designed to address the question that the people are asking. We shall continue to plant churches in strategic places and ensure that they have functioning departments such as evangelism, music, and information, communication, technology. The concept of having a missionary church is something that we, with questions about the day, and the other day I was jokingly saying, in Anglican church we do not have a problem of having seven days. I'll continue and advance the radio ministry, as we have been doing, improve fellowship and pastoral services, encourage the continued use of, and improvement of Ekekusi prayer is a true church. The church mission desk will be studying the environment, take time to understand the people residing in this diocese, their tribal, cultural, and traditional to reach and gain a careful understanding of the people we are called to serve. We shall focus on how to win the people of Jesus, people to Jesus Christ, and make them, this is very important because it will be the only reason why we claim, or we can claim a vision for serving in a place without complaining. If this is not so, the mission suffers and becomes self-centered and self-serving. We dare not to miss our opportunity for meeting thief the young and all the forgotten in the society. We will find ways of safeguarding when those who are struggling. We come to office knowing that we will not be, we will not be charged on how we preach and how many will come to the Lord, but how efficient we constitution to be relevant to the needs of this diocese and that of the province. We will initiate and develop human resource manuals sparing how to employ and statutory applicable statutory laws. Is there an ANS mechanism that guarantee acquisition of all title deeds of the all church leaders? Together with the standing committee of the Synod and all Christians, we shall constitute the cathedral chapter 2025. 
for immediate action we shall recall all church teachers licenses to officiate and issue a fresh the does and ones as from the needs and the doors open for mission in upper southern nyanza diocese we are seeing education health care media agriculture and sports still we consider education one for church growth in Kisi. However, lately, many churches now look at education and schools as means of generating money as opposed to expanding mission. Furthermore, there is a general feeling in Kenya that uh, government regulations have become so intrusive and oppressive that the education has practically ceased to be a viable form of mission and outreach. Our motive in Upper Southern Nyanza for education is and shall be to train the children to grow in the fear of God and the love of God, in love for neighbors and to participate in, com and to participate in community development and in evangelizing the society. We shall seek to recover the lost found founder and sponsored schools. The SEK will still support education that bring up holistic developed child. In Upper Southern Nyanza Diocese, we shall create and facilitate enabling employ, uh, environment that empowers stakeholders, nurture the inherent capacity of individuals for a just lasting society in service. We shall engage and synthesize people uh, use, using prophetic voices for public participation, for social justice, environmental management, crime and change, human rights, emancipation of the vulnerable while maintaining political neutrality in the land. We shall consciously trigger the minds of the unemployed youth to engage in productive functions and activities in all our parishes. The diocese will focus in supporting efforts that will ensure primary health care, preventive, curative, and rehabilitative, school health program, HIV AIDS program, and outreach services in Wusi and Yamira counties, and maintain strong interaction with government and other partners to take forward the national and county agenda. The diocese will leverage on our existing plots of land in Marani, Mongori, and other places to set up this important healing ministry. Resource and investment management, we shall seek to develop innovative mechanisms that guarantee stewardship from the members of the diocese to giving through tithes, offering and thanksgiving in fulfilling the financial obligation and identified investment options which each parish initiating at least one income generating activity by 2025 for a wholesome Christian community. Which is 80% uh, to be completed is going to be one of such projects envisioned in our parishes. Number five, networking, linkage, collaboration and partnership building. We shall strength, strengthen linkages, networking, collaborations, and develop a network, the network and cooperation framework with other surrounding institutions and organizations in support and the growth of the diocese and spread the gospel, particularly in the two counties. Strengthen network linkage, collaboration, and partnership building with other churches, institutions, for the interdenominational spreading of the gospel and evangelism or in the region. We will promote intercongregational relationship through mission work exchange. Strengthen public-private partnership focusing on areas of influence and capacity to strengthen radiate the gospel. We shall strengthen and develop new interdisciplinary and dinary of the church or assembly. Strengthen in the uh, Anglican institutional partnership within the area of our jurisdiction. Uh, strengthen in the relationship between all the departments, pastors in the denominational fellowship 
which is very pivotal for the spreading of the gospel in this region. We shall regain ownership of sponsored uh, sponsored by the Anglican Church in Gusi. We will develop public-private partnership and in, enter in memorandum of understanding to financing or support the development of identified feasible economic ventures in serving the people of God. Last number six, on infrastructure and institutional development, as a diocese, we aspire to set up basic physical and organizational structures and facilities needed for the operation of the diocese. With respect to our organizational structure, build infrastructure, digital artifacts, and people. To acquire, own land, and build permanent churches and other structures such as the vicarages and departmental offices in each congregation will be an ongoing activity. So on that area, the action areas will be, will be build a bishop's residence and the office at the cathedral. So far we have an office members at the Tumaini building, the fourth floor. That's where the office is. It's not yet complete. And we will appeal Mutuombe to Kawesa Kumarisa here office. It is Kawesa Kuingia Huko. Acquire charged on land with the title deeds and other relevant documents. We will build modern church structure for worship at all parish headquarters with St. Philip's as the cathedral, uh, or cathedral of the Diocese of Upper Southern Nyanza, Kisi. We will take deliberate action to resolve all pending land issues and properties that are not in control of the church. Establish a fiscal and vibrant youth office and other department offices where applicable in parishes. Seven, monitoring, evaluation, and learning. Totally, and annual monitoring of the plan to measure the progress. The unity of monitoring will be at different levels, beginning from cell group for correlation and omega analysis. By mid-year of 2024, the parties will conduct mid-term evaluation to measure the achievements of the objectives. This will be followed by the end term of develop to include the key performing indicators by strategic objectives. This will be the shared, this will then be of the plan, implementation plan will be developed based on a law frame teasing out key indicators by the objective and beyond. And for us to keep the frames of this day alive, I wish to put up a seed project of a vocational training center in Marani worth the 5 million Kenya slings. I want to appeal here today for friends who will stand with me and help me raise this amount for that very purpose. You can write a check in favor of the account Kisiere Bishopric, KCB Bank or and the account is 11 66 all 06 for these great men and women of God to greet me with a gift with an amount to help me start this seed project Southern Nyanza Diocese under Bishop Simon Onyango still remains our source and going forward they will be our partners in mission, partners in mission, including Church Army Africa, Carlyle College, for the increased support in the training of, in the initial start of Kisi Area Bishop Rick, and all the bishops who have stood with us in the past. We also thank the ADS Nyansa for the support, for the special interests that we have around here in Kisi. We are hoping for the best in the Nyanza Regional Fellowship and the FIDIC as we join them as the new baby who have been born in this region. Gluks and other provincial institutions will be of great significance to us. 
we also want to state that we shall initiate uh, uh, dialogue with Southern Nyanza, if necessary, uh, to have the St. Panapas Misambi Parish in this uh, place so that we continue to serve God together. I want to ask our people in New Zealand, especially our political leaders, the political class, and the professionals, and all people of goodwill, to rise up and support new, this new diocese. Invest your time and money where it will not be lost. In doing so, you will and the generations to come, especially in Kisi. And in addition to the nation, nation of Kenya, and the country or government of Kisi, and, and the grace of the Lord and the peace of God be with you all. Amen. Amen, amen. Of call it his manifesto, uh, his plan what he want to achieve, what he want to do, and he began by telling us a history, where are we coming from, and uh, the hardships, and uh, he has now ended with the projections, and where he feels the Lord is leading him, and he has enlisted our support. Are we going to support him? Will we give him uh, our hand in prayer, and in kind, and in cash, and in material? So that the work of this great diocese will kick off and uh, uh, grow. Yes, that is our pledge, Bishop. Thank you. You have uh, partners in mission. All of us are your partners in mission. Our progress will be realized, development will be realized. So we call upon each one of us to participate. That's why in the Anglican Church we talk that uh, mission is never complete by only the social transformation arm of the church which addresses issues of uh, our environment, our locality, our health, our education, uh, everything around us, we thank God. For. But also the leaders who have come to be with us, particularly from this region, those who serve locally and in the national government. And uh, in the interest of time, because many of us are other institutions of uh, the Anglican Church and uh, affiliated bodies, uh, whose head are there, then I will be able to give a list of my bishops and I'll be assisted by my provincial secretary to introduce and send his apology. With us, uh, uh, Professor Combo, the vice chancellor of St. Paul's University. I think I saw him, yes. We also have uh, the CEO of church. Yes. Okay. Okay, but I saw there was a lady who came to represent the national uh, office. She's there. Thank you, but uh, uh, a message will be read from NCCK. Uh, uh, from the provincial office, I have seen a team, so I can ask uh, all my uh, staff from the provincial office to stand. And I want to begin with the provincial uh, secretary, uh, Bishop Joseph Galgalo is here with us. We have the uh, chancellor of the province, uh, uh, Tom Onyango, you have seen him much, uh, uh, organizing all the authing of the church. Uh, thank you very much. I've seen uh, CCMP Church and Community Mobilization Process, Reverend Jogu. I've also seen Mother's Union. Uh, Sophia Mwaniki is with us. Uh, I've seen uh, J Wilbur Foswangalwa uh, is in charge of education, uh, director of education in the Anglican Church. We also uh, have new level, and I know there are also regional directors. I've seen some of Mondi uh, are also with us uh, of ADS Nyansa region. Uh, who else have I left in my office? My chaplain is here, uh, the Reverend Dennis Denge. Uh, he has left, but I think the rest are here. Uh, I don't know whether I will run this mic uh, so that the, uh, the, the message from LCCK, uh, then we progress. Do we have a... Uh, a wireless mic. Yes. Yui Makueni, you know me. Thank you. Greetings. Bishop Kodia should be the last. Bishop Emeritus Stephen Kawasis. Robert Magina, Nambale Diocese on the border with Uganda. Emily Onyango, SCK Diocese of Bonda. Uma, 
Maseno East Diocese, and we are with Mama, our Achid Kon Nick, and his wife, and my son. God, dear Maseno West, together with Mama Eunice down there. David Ireri Embu, Natulikuja na Mama. James Kamura, the assistant to Kuanam Kewangu Hapa, Pamoja na Chidikon Swangu Atatu, Tashkuru Kua Hapa, Hongera, Bishop Omangi. I came with my chaplain, Venerable Canon Gideon Mulei Muya. Thank you. Uh, Charles Onginjo, the grandfather of Kisi, Bishop of... An elder, Canon Esau Odanga, where are you? You are Yule Nyuma, Le Canon Esau Odanga, na tumekuja pia na dereva wetu. Henry, where are you? Tuma salamu kwa mama mwenzake, Mrs. Omangi. Askofu Omangi, congratulations, Hongera, we are happy for you. Yes, with the Bishop Secretary, Patricia, with the, uh, my son, Amos, Chewa, Niwauku, and then uh, Lay Canon Kano, Francis Ngui, and then uh, Lay Canon Peter Mugaki. We are so happy with you, and uh, we praying with you that the gospel will continue. Thank you. Abraham Joseph Wasonga, retired Bishop of Maseno West Diocese. We are together with Jennifer and our chaplain donated by the current Bishop. Our chaplain is Martin Pesa. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Your Grace. Um, I'm David Kodiav. From names, but we also came with uh, delegations. I came with uh, my wife, uh, the Vicar General, and the AS of the Diocese. Diocese of Nakuru, we appreciate you and recognize you. Diocese of Nyaururu, Diocese of Mount Kenya South, and others who may have come without their. And Bondo team, there are so many, I can't even ask them to stand up. Have all those clergy are from Bondo. Confirm with them. The Council of Churches of Kenya. And I'm, I'm going, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to summarize it in three sentences. As a partner and as a fellow ecumenical person in this region. So we from NCK in this region. We hope that we, you will join us even the next ecumenical gatherings as we share together. Uh, thank you so much, Professor Cordia, uh, for bringing that. Uh, we, we have uh, the representative of the governor, the chief of staff is here. Oh, one of your chaplains ministering in this institution so that the kingdom of God is grown. We have the former member of parliament of Kitutu Church, Richard uh, Tongi, with us. Uh, Nyaoka is with us. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, we have uh, a chairman of Kenjen, Migosi. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have seen the leaders have come to support their new bishop. We will grow this area and the Lord will bless all of you together. Uh, to come and convey greetings and message of goodwill on behalf of all the leaders who are present and those who are not present to the Orina 
who is here with us, all the bishops, my colleagues here from government, both national and county. I'm so happy to be here. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, was supposed to be in this function, but because of other commitments, and uh, he knows him so well, so he passed his best regards and also the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya with the servant of God, Bishop John Norena. It was a very special day, and somehow I came to some conclusion about this great man, which each and every one of us, as a Christian, is a characteristic that we are supposed to have. Characteristics or art and all that. And actually, when I had a discussion for the few minutes, and even the kind of message I've had here in the office, and the way I have been able to look at him today, your grace, the Archbishop, God is timing is always the best. Uh, what is it that happened that we were not able to take root in Kisi? But the, the time is now, and I'm happy that for the last <coughs> few days that Archbishop has been here, 1,000, meaning, meaning that almost each and every Christian was able to get about 10 other Christians. You know, the book of God, Mark uh, chapter 15, uh, chapter 16, verse 15, is so categorical and so clear about what we are supposed to do, you and me, the Great Commission, where Jesus said, ye, go and preach the good news. Go and preach the good news, uh, the gospel, to the entire world, to each and every creature. So have the confidence and the faith that from 9,000 that we are now, in another one year, with this man of God, who has a lot of faith, and has shared his vision with us, we should be able to get to 100,000 and beyond, because that is a commission, not only to our bishops, not only the men of God, because apart from the other assignment that we have been given, I think the greatest assignment that you and me have been given is to share the good news. Uh, Archbishop, as serious education, one thing that I cherish most is even when people call me Elder Machou, eh? uh, because I'm also an elder uh, church choir here. I was a very curious young man many years ago, and I went to some uh, neighboring church accompanying my grandmother. And I found there was so much God, the way uh, we have praised God here. And I went back home asking my dad and mother, why is it not that we can also be able to praise God the same way that I've seen in the church? That, but my mother finally did after really persisting that I had to get an answer. And you know the answer I got was, yes, you know the one we go to uh, when Jesus was crucified uh, and with all that pain, the terrible sin that it was, we were there during that time when Jesus was being crucified. And when Jesus rose from the grave, uh, the people who were there, uh, among them, were the Anglicans, and you can see the kind of happiness, the kind of happiness that, uh, that Jesus has been able to conquer the worst enemy of man, and that is death. We have hope. We are here because Jesus did, did it for us, and he has been able to overcome through the grace of God and the very hard-working man of God that we have seen here, out of what he has said with us, we will support you 100%. Great choir, I would like to participate more and also to, also to gain, because the God that we worship is actually one God. We continue praying for our great country, Kenya, is excellent the president of the Republic of Kenya because the only one who can be able to mitigate the challenges that we have as a can Ipru, it means the nest of God. And the YA means God, Yahweh. 
So we are in the nest of God. Uh, and they told me there are others. So as CS education, I will also be able to do what I'm supposed to do in this region and other parts of Kenya. The professionals have come with, uh, uh, you mentioned the names, I think they can only be upstanding. Today, that is accurate, an Anglican. <laughs> so uh, uh, you also have, we have so many people here. We have the five appointed Nathan Ogechi, uh, professor is here with us. We have the principal of Kisi School, uh, the school which you said it was government school, but because your presence was not that, uh, that is strong in the area. Uh, but now I can see you are a principal be prepared. Uh, yes, we have all my brothers here. Uh, uh, my brother uh, working in uh, environmental uh, NEMA. My brother uh, Kenijen is here with us. The county commissioner is here with us. And the uh, 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 county commissioner. And uh, I want to give you a secret. Uh, uh, because God has given you this man. Don't worry about the five million. Now, uh, uh, even if Arab wants to say, I 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 uh, one thing that uh, is so passionate with the section of the president, our vocational training center in Marani, we will uh, be able to support you because that is what we are, to impart and uh, give the skills and the competencies to our young people so that they can be able to compete in this 21st century. So uh, uh, rest assured that you will get all the support uh, from me and the professionals here, and even my friend Akipika Srimbi, he was to raise the five million. Now, Sasa, where we are, we are going to be able to raise the five million. Now, we are going to be able to a committee of chaplaincy and the chair of that committee is uh, uh, our archbishop here uh, combining efforts uh, the church religious organizations and the ministry in order for us to give counseling and guidance among our youths because our country the power and now well and how we are able to bring our young people in a better way so that they are able to take the country forward tomorrow. So thank you and we wish you well and God bless you. Thank you. Now the seed project is over, isn't it? Uh, we thank God and thank you CS for mentioning that I have brought the message of Nyabite to you. I was a bishop to you in that school. I promise the community I'm going to see you uh, so that we can do something about that school. And not only that, about education uh, uh, in the whole area of chaplaincy, you have said we are very committed. Uh, we have also been visiting schools with the Gubamba team you saw here, and I, I know I mentioned that in your office. Uh, 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 I hear it's uh, um, over 900 schools we have uh, 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 reached, and uh, now we want to thank God. January. I could not run alone until we get a new bishop. We have had the services of our, the Archbishop's Commissary, who have managed the transition process. Uh, uh, my brother, thank you so much. The church uh, appreciate your work, your highly organized skills, peacefully. And uh, we want to thank you and Bishop Simon, who have given you to us, and the Diocese of Southern Nyanza for midwiving a diocese in a very peaceful way. We know you so much. Uh, unfortunately, I have to announce that this is the end of the job of this man. <laughs> that we appreciate your services. We have not thrown you out. Uh, we have just said thank you. You did 
you are part so well. Now, uh, we are going to get uh, starting, maybe give two or three people so that we don't all crowd here. Uh, there will be a moment of uh, greeting the bishop with the gifts to make sure that they are in areas and stations where people can come. Uh, and uh, we will do the peace and benediction with him uh, before uh, we exit. And a few of us, then he will stand here and people will now come and give him the gifts as uh, we process and go out. After feeding us, then uh, people will greet him and uh, that's the time you are going to give your gifts and then uh, people will be free to exit. Archbishop, CS, the Archbishop for presiding over this occasion. It has been a long journey, and uh, this, uh, our new bishop, has been very resilient. Others from Oma Bay, others from uh, Mugrango. I must thank you for taking time to come and grace this occasion. It is really His Excellency. His Excellency was here 2016 um, when he was uh, made the the, the the what was it? The bishop. Oh, we've been here for a long time. This uh, this from morning up to now, and we are ready to leave. Thank you very much, and wherever. Thank you. Uh, one person, a great friend of mine, I failed to mention. Maybe we have uh, considered him today a member of the family, Bishop of Mesa. Uh, just stand and wave. We know you are the brother. Now we will do the benediction. Is it benediction or cutting of the cake? Cutting of the cake, cutting of the cake now. Yes. So we'll ask the bishop, not Bishop Eleke anymore. Envelopes are going round, so please make sure that you pick an envelope and uh, make sure that uh, you uh, also give uh, generously to the cause of uh, this great man. Moja, we all know cake is normally used as a symbol of unity in functions. Na hatunge wacha ipite hi, mungu wa meka na wadogo, uh, tukishirikiana kwa upendo na ushirikiano mzuri, tutaweza kuenda mbali na kueneza injiri katika hi area yetu ya upper southern nyanza. Thank you for the gift of cake that is presented before you and before us. It has been prepared to keep the friends of this day's day alive as we cut and share it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tunakata keki hii kwa ishara na ukumbuzo wa siku hii ya kusimiko kwa skofu wa kwanza wa daus ya hapa South Nyanza kwa jina la Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. As we cut, they will be singing. Salaba, 
you Oh mochi Wo go se meria Niki de na kyo anse se No nya o Is you om salava Dan ko yi no re Oh mochi Sa you Oh mochi Wo go om salava Ngai kere kere ntange Tiso wa aso ovo Pero la igreja é o que na chaco Jesus o monene o o ne. Pero na igreja é o que na chaco o rogendo o denda. Mochi querendo tangue de soa a so o mo. Mochi querendo que querendo tangue colique querendo tangue. Nonya e seji e re ne ne Nonya e vive vigo cha Bayongo tigera Yesu om salava Asante Ya kupata maji kidogo So wakati unu wakati Tutapatia praise wa kimba Na tunasalamia John For 15 minutes and then we wind up and we go So that we do the benediction then uh, we will go down and greet him. I know people are pressured with time, so uh, he's the one to begin to give us a benediction. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your mind in the knowledge and love of God. Haven't finished choir. Get instructions. The Lord bless you and keep you. Now, if the choir wish to put that number, we will now go down and greet him as uh, uh, we continue. Yeah. 